Hi, I'm Suzanne Matson, and in this short video, we're talking about adaptive leadership. What is it and why is it so important that project managers adapt their leadership style to the individual team member? I see a lot of project managers using the same approach towards everyone, irrespective of how skilled or competent or confident each person is. But you know as well as me that everyone is different. And in order to get the most of our team members and give them what they need, we really need to adopt a different approach to different people. And there are two main dimensions I'm going to talk you through. The first one is competence or level of skill. How skilled is your team member? How competent are they or not? Some people will know what they're doing. They will have been in their field for a long time. They know exactly how to do things. Whereas others are more junior. Their skill level may be quite low in this particular field. As a manager and leader, you need to adapt your style to suit these different types of people. If someone is very competent, you don't have to show them how to do things. In fact, you, can, um, in fact, you shouldn't uh, spend time micromanaging them. That will probably demotivate them, if anything. Whereas if people are generally quite junior and they don't have the skill level, if they're just new in the role, spend the time showing them exactly how to do things. The other dimension I want to share with you is confidence level. Some people on your team will be very confident, they have a lot of drive and they're generally very motivated for doing things. Whereas others are quite opposite. They may lack confidence, they may generally have a low uh, level of motivation, they may even be disillusioned. Those people, you need to give the moral support they need in order to build up their confidence. So when we combine these two dimensions, we get some different scenarios. Let's look at some examples. First off, let's imagine a team member who is both very skilled at what they do, so their level of competence is quite high, and at the same time, they're very confident. They have a lot of drive for doing things. A team member like that, you can delegate to, and in fact, you should delegate. If you uh, attempt to micromanage them, that may have the um, opposite effect on them. So delegate to these people. They know what they're doing and they're quite happy doing it on their own. On the other end of the spectrum, we have people who have low level of confidence and they also have a low level of skill. These people we need to nurture. We need to show them how to do things and we also need to give them the moral support they need to build up their level of confidence so that they can generally be better at what they do, feel better about what they do, so eventually we can delegate to them as well. Interestingly enough, I see a lot of project managers who spend a lot of time with people who are good at what they do. So instead of delegating, they spend more time with these people, bouncing off ideas and generally discussing with them. And they don't spend the amount of time they need with the people who they should be nurturing, because they could be seen as the people who drain your time. But you shouldn't think of it as junior people draining your time. You should think of it as an opportunity. Give them what they need. Show them how to do things. Build them up morally. Give them the support they need. And eventually they may become star players on your team. So reverse this around if this applies to you. Spend the right amount of time when they need it. And what I encourage you to do now is to Actually sit down and assess your team members. Look at every single one of them. And assess on a scale from one to 10 how competent or skilled is each team member and how much confidence do they have. And once you've assessed that, look at whether you are adapting your leadership style to suit each individual or if you're simply um, using the same approach for everyone. So there's some thoughts for you to take away.